Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Flashpoint Beyond Number Zero. This is a book from DC Comics. Um, this will be a little bit of a throwback for all those that have been uh, kind of reading DC Comics for a little while. Since 2011, we have the Flashpoint event. Um, and then from there, we've had Jeff Johns write a few stories that kind of follow a little bit of those threads. So we are back here with Flashpoint Beyond. Uh, and I'm just I'm excited to read this because I just kind of want to know where that story is going. Just as a long time reader, uh, there's something that, you know, it's it's just something that I just feel like at this point I need to know more about. Uh, so this book is written by Jeff Jones with art by Eduardo Riso, Eduardo Riso, top notch artist. So that's another big reason I'm picking up this book. Uh, Colors by Trish Mulfail, uh and letters by Rob Lay. Uh, so after searching and sacrificing everything to help the Flash put the universe back together and save Bruce Wayne's life. Uh, Thomas Wayne wakes up in a world he thought was no more. Forced to don the cowl once again, Batman prowls the streets of Gotham City, searching for answers, answers on how this world still exists, but what he starts to uncover will send them hurtling uh, around the globe. The hunt for the clockwork killer starts here. Um, so real quick recap, and this will be as, as brief as I can make it in flashpoint, the flash tried to save his mom, uh, changing the past. He then came back to the present where it was now the flashpoint timeline where Bruce died instead of, uh, of his parents. And that led Thomas Wayne to become Batman in that universe. There's a whole lot more going on. Uh, there's a whole lot more going on with that event. So I would recommend you go read it. You don't necessarily need to read it for this, um, for this uh, issue or for this uh, this event either, but I would say you would get a lot more out of that. Um, probably also read Doomsday Clock. Uh, but anyways, uh, so let's get into looking at some of the art and I'll talk a little bit more about this issue. So first thing I want to point out here, many things, like just this is the opening page. Uh, we see a few things here. We see the clock with the blood, you know, very Watchmen style homage. Uh, also, Doomsday Clock was a sort of sequel to Watchmen uh, and some other alternate timeline. There's there's now multiple sequels and things that lead out of the Watchmen universe. Um, but what I want to point out, and I kind of pulled this panel aside, this whole 5G averted thing, uh, it's a little meta because we knew that uh, prior editorial had this whole 5G plan for DC Publishing to go forward. Uh, it didn't end up happening, but we did get to see a lot of what they had planned uh, for the for that line through the future state. So if you haven't read any of those books, I recommend it. Um, but let's get back to this book specifically. I just think it's it's funny to put those details in there because some people will be like, okay, what is 5G? What does that mean? Like the cell phone thing or whatever. Uh, so yeah, which was confusing because at the time AT&T had just purchased Warner Brothers and DC Comics, but Anyways, that's a whole, that could be a whole episode of our live show. Um, I just want to point out, like I said, I'm a big fan of Riso, Riso's uh, work, especially on Batman. He's been doing Batman for a long, long time. Uh, he was, he had some really cool runs on Detective Comics. And I just think that Mobile's colors really uh, set, like they really set up uh, the issue as well. Uh, so let's take a look at the next page. Um, and yeah, we have, through this whole issue, we have, Thomas Wayne going back and trying to find out all these things, figuring out what happened, why is he back in this world, and even maybe an attempt to try to change it. Um, so this was a, a very basic setup issue. I guess the downside of having a zero issue is that you will still have the issue number one, which may retell you a lot of these details. Uh, and publishers do this because number one sell very well. So number zero issues are considered almost almost number one. So they definitely do that too, you know, pump up the numbers a little bit. This could have this could have just been definitely just been a flashpoint beyond number one. Uh, but you know, sometimes publishers like to double dip and then sell as an extra comic, which you know that's where your prerogative comes in if you want to pick that up or not. Um, if you want to know this, the big uh, follow through line from Flashpoint from back in 2011 through, you know, through all the stuff that went through uh, in the New 52, and then Rebirth and, uh, and Doomsday Clock and all that stuff. So if you're kind of a continuity nut, uh, I think you'll enjoy this book. Um, 
and like I said, I'm picking this up mainly because of Eduardo Rizzo's art. Uh, I hadn't seen him on a book uh, in a little while uh, like this. So very excited for that. Uh, so, yeah, but there you have it. Let us know what you think of this. Have you uh, have you read all those things that I mentioned? Flashpoint, Doomsday Clock, all that stuff. Uh, where do you think this is going? Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to show you some covers at the end of the video. Uh, but let us, uh, let us know which one you pick up. But as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live that it's most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have uh, more comic reviews. Uh, TV reviews, movie reviews, trailer reactions, and on our next live, we will be doing uh, our the worst uh, comic book adaptation movies uh, since 1998. So we're going to break it up into a little bit of an era. Uh, and we got a lot of feedback from everybody that filled our survey. Thank you very much. Uh, so hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss that episode. I think it's going to be so much fun. We will definitely, we may do just a full two hours of that topic because there's going to be a lot to discuss. Uh, so anyways, uh, as I mentioned, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.